You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the August 19th, 2024 meeting of the Michigan City Urban Enterprise Association. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Uh, call the meeting to order the Michigan City Urban Enterprise Board of Directors. Start off with the roll call. Uh, Nick Pollock? Here. Jim Clarity? Here. Ryan McCorn? Present. Dakota Yule? Present. He not come from Gabby. Uh, Bruce? Present. <laughs> yeah, the MCU. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Uh, one second. I guess we'll pull it. Start off with the uh, meeting minutes from the last meeting, July twenty fourth. Has everybody had a chance to look at them? I didn't read the minutes. I read the resignation letter. I did read through the minutes. Everything looked good to me from what I can remember. There was a lot going on at the meeting, but I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. For it's two minutes, two um, two months, correct? Or one? It is just a meeting for minutes from July twenty fourth. Yeah. I will second that. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting minutes passed. Um, I guess move on to next on the agenda. I'd like to see if we can get volunteers for a grant committee. I think the, uh, the committee of three people to over due to the resignation of the interim executive director try to see uh, try to set up a, a process with the grant committee of three members or so to review the grants through of our remaining grant cycle which ends in October to keep things trying to move in efficiently can I get any two volunteers for it I'll volunteer Bruce anybody else I will Nick so we got appoint Nick and Bruce to the grant committee also, I would like to see about setting up a committee for to search out to create a job scope for the interim for a, a, a executive director position by three people to reach the former job scope and put, get out a job description and a proposal and bring it back to the board. Did I get two people volunteer for that? We have an ED. We already have the scope. Is that do we have everybody seen that scope that we had for um, Gabby before? Um, I thought it was in um, attached to the um, the notes. I mean to um, I like Google it. Docs. Yeah, the Google Docs. It was oh, with the contract. Kind of, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it was Can we all just take a, um, a moment and just make sure that we all look at that and see what we would like to take away from it, add from it, and then have a scope already there, and then let's let's find somebody. Uh, I I'm fine with what you said, Rodney. I, I just want to add to it. Yeah, look at look at. Look at. I, I was able to read it, yes. Yeah, you had a chance to see it as well? I haven't, I haven't looked at it all. I, I, Put it I, you want to see it. He was, I just think it's worthwhile to discuss whether we need a, a full-time executive director or not. That's all I was going to add to what you said. Yeah, we can. I mean, you want to go into that discussion. I don't, at this point, after talking to Tristan, I don't understand what Gabby was doing at the time. I don't think we need a full-time person at all. I'm in complete agreement. I don't think we need a full time full time position for that role either. At all. But I will say what's more important to all of us should be for all of us right now is that we need to retain an attorney. I've been at this for two years now, so <laughs> back to Gabby's position, is there is there another entity within the city that we can do like a shared services agreement or something with? I mean, is there someone else that's kind of doing a similar role? You know, obviously not in this capacity, but that we can do a shared services agreement, whether it's... I know when I reached out to Laporte, the way it was presented to me was Laporte uh, thinks the assistant planning director is what they use. They have an MOU. Uh, the woman didn't stipulate how much, but that's the process of which they use. And I've kind of looked around at what other UEAs do around the area through, throughout the state, and none of them exactly have a executive director except I've seen, I believe, like East Chicago. A lot of them is just an MOU between the department and the city. And I think most of them aim towards the planning department because people go in to get the permits pulled and all the such work through there. It's a one-stop shop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean, like shared services, right, where we do exactly that. You know, we kick in whatever we got to kick in to pay that person's salary. And, and I know in speaking to Sylvia, she should I thought she was going to be online today. She had no problem if we decided to have 
applicants come in now until we figure out what we're going to do next for referring to as ed uh, executive director if the applicants came in to her office she says she would she make applicable time to keep make sure we keep the process going and our grant cycle ends in october wanted to keep the things flowing she had no problem with the files or the laptop going to her office or even the phone number that's attached to the uea going to her office she had no problem with it i wish she has been she should have been on uh, been on uh, zoom i know we having trouble with Is that the application now. online yes through the so when they hit when someone hits submit where's it going from my understanding it goes through to we have an email to off. the mcuea email that's where it's like a general a general mailbox yes which is supposed to be brought over today with the remainder of the uh the items for the you can see that because i know i can't see it i oh uh, it was all yeah we had it all yeah we have to have access to that that was supposed to be was being brought over the day that she still hasn't made here with you. So <clears throat> my guess is we're talking administrator access that she. Yes. And possibly, I'm really outside my knowledge base here, possibly she doesn't have to do any, well, maybe we do have to cancel our administrator access. Or, I mean. Our IT guy's going to do all that. Right. Do we have an IT guy? The city has an no, IT guy. The city guy. will, yeah. Uh, uh, Andy. Through the sanitary district? Yes. Andy, I believe Andy. his name is. Yes. Yeah, so he may be able to, to whatever, transfer it over. And to be honest, if one of us want to step up, I mean, the grant process is kind of easy. You just We just make a, a committee of three, yeah. and then we just bring the recommendation, say we approve the grant uh, doing this. But we also got to make sure the work is, has been done. 100%. So yeah, it, it is a little, it's just, and it's not that detailed in it, but uh, we might not need to go that far. But if we deal with the city, there will have to be a, a MOU or uh, some kind of service agreement attached. I'm kind of like, I'm trying to, I would like, to, I would personally like to stay away from that because I've seen what happened in East Chicago. And then I seen the problems in that before Gary went under, bubbled under, and then I just don't. Well, it seems like you said it's working in the port. It seems like it works pretty well in the port from my communications with him. Everything always works or doesn't work depending on who's involved. Is that right? it's, it's usually players at hand. Yeah. Can you reach out to the port see if they'd be willing to help us? And we enter something in with them. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna call. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna call them tomorrow just to Mike. sit down with Mike Riley and talk about what they have and. Kind of get the ins and outs of what they're doing with the uh, with the res resignation of uh, Gabby earlier today. I was that's why I was thinking. Um, one question I have is uh, we have duties and responsibilities listed for the executive director, so like we might have to change some of that. Yeah, that it's was a motion. I, I may if I, I like to move for a five minute recess. And second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, five minute recess. Calling uh, August 19th, Michigan City Board of Urban Enterprise Directors back in, back in order. Uh, where were we at on the agenda? We was at Grants, I believe. Or do we uh, approve the minutes, correct? We did. We did. So I guess we have the grant situ uh, situations. Uh, first up will be Charlie Say. Everybody had a chance to take a look at it? There's no proof of income though, right? One of those criteria that has to be. I, I just think the proof of income is complete. It shows his um, how much he's received from the Social Security Administration for the year. Uh, his wife has uh, her income uh, on the company letterhead that she works for, um, but there's no uh, tax return information in there to show that that truly was the only income that they received. And they are definitely up in age. And with that, I. I will move to Granite. Is there a second? Second, so there's discussion. Uh, there's a motion and a second. Any more discussion? What What is the uh, income limit for household? I didn't even have the, um, I don't have the, the, I pull it the, up the chart second. in front of us. I mean, he is. I don't need like, that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's right there. That's what you got. There it is. So two. And, and they meet the How much is it? They meet the highest amount. They just don't file. They don't. I'm assuming because of the age, they don't. They 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 said they don't file taxes. I, and there is a written signed statement in there stating that. So. I think, yeah, I mean, my thought is it, this is almost exactly what you said. We show some flexibility for some folks on. Yeah. Uh, 
So someone can make up to this amount, 125% to get the full 5,000, right? Yeah, two people in that household, they, they don't want to with them. Call for the vote. Any more discussion? We'll call for the vote. Nick. Aye. Jim. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Bruce. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Sylvia. Uh, the chair votes aye as well. Is it uh, was Joe Nelson online, or uh, I thought I seen him? Um, motion passes. Next will be Melvin Metcalf. Everybody had a chance to take a look at that one. I believe that one was already voted on prior, mm -hmm. and he did not meet the income guidelines. That was my understanding as well. Yeah, that was already we already voted nay on this one um, a few minutes ago. Okay. So next we move down to Platinum Designs. Move to approve. Second. Any more discussion? I would like to just add Sylvia. Platinum Design did provide their other estimate, the other bid. Okay. So. Come so. Nick. Aye. Jim. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Sylvia. Aye. Bruce. Hi. I'm sorry. He looked right at you and said Sylvia. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dakota. Hi. Chip folks. Chip folks as well. And then we down to the last one that's been on the our docket way too long. Um, that would be Mr. Corley. Mr. Corley is actually not on the docket. Well, it wasn't, so I will ask uh, to amend it to add that to it so we can approve it. Uh, is there a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we'll um match is anyone opposed, please. Anyone opposed? Thank you. Motion carries. Just a little background on that though. Um he had put in an app for a, a roof um last year. <laughs> last year and um the the inspection was done, the the roof got done and we didn't have quorums. We couldn't pass it and it got we kept putting it off. And um, thank God she came in today and said something about it. Now we're here, and it needs to be approved. So that's where it's at. Just for the minutes, that somebody can get me a piece of paper so I spell it correctly. I don't have this paper. Well, it doesn't have, have to be this moment. <clears throat> she said she sent it over to you, right? Yeah, it didn't load up yet. Oh, okay. We can coordinate this after the meeting. Okay. I can make sure I get you the name. No, oh, somebody dropped out. No, she, she's <laughs> right. She's she still there. So all the criteria was met. Everything. And we were just waiting to have a full quorum meeting. And the inspection department signed off on it, on that one and everything. So it was done. So it's done, paid for, and all that. He's like, yes. shit. Yes. Motion approved. Second. Jim. Yes. Nick. Aye. Bruce. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Sylvia. Aye. Came with the musical chair. Chair votes Next, we have on the agenda was. I'm sorry, one second. Ooh, here it goes. Next, we have on the agenda was the executive director contract, which um, we no longer have an interim ED. Uh, back to, I guess, back to the point we raised before the recess, uh, the process we're going to take regarding moving forward on filling the role. I move to accept um, Gabrielle's resignation. Second. Any more discussion? I'd say we pay her for today, though. So, uh, is, okay. Uh, Adding that, yes. With that amendment, yes. yes. If she worked today for us, we pay her today. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Um, okay. Uh, Nick. Aye. Uh, Jim. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Bruce. Hi, Dakota. Hi. Uh, Sylvia. Hi. We need to make sure we get the post box key as well. The post box. I'll reach out to her tomorrow for the post box key. You got that, Bruce? I, I, I couldn't hear you because we got to make sure we get the post box key <laughs> if we have to add that to the minutes. So, post box key. I, 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 I take the minutes from the YouTube. So, all right. Oh, okay. okay. You take a note. All right. Smart man. <laughs> well, I don't know how, how do we write a check now. She uh, posted had brought the the bank the bank area. Maybe it's in there. Should be all over there. Still would just be me and your signature on it. 
Um, so what process is the board, board I guess I take a, the opinion of the board process that you guys are going to take in the seeking out the position, what process, I guess what process would you guys like to see forward? I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind establishing a committee of maybe three. I mean, we got a scope already just to set out the process of how we want to apply, to post the position out and take applications in that process. Somebody bring it back to the board. We already had two. We had you two. We just need one more, right? That was for the grant committee. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I'll work on this committee as well. Um, Nominating committee for our new ED. Yeah. Anybody, uh, unique, anybody else? I'll do it. Unique and Bruce. And my, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll do it as well. That's anybody else? Um, I guess we'll move down to public comment. If anybody has anything else to add on today, well, well I think we have, if you don't mind, Mr. President, um, the, the payment. So we need to get this over with the small business. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, thank you. So I believe there's, um, is it 700? I don't know what the exact amount is that, that needs to go out, and they don't, they don't have the, the tax forms. Um, the last two invoices, to my knowledge, that was outstanding was a three thousand dollars for their entertainment, and then there was a seven hundred dollars for for their photography company that they had hired. The other two invoices that they had provided had been paid, which were for the DJ, and which has been for Barrel House, the venue. The venue. Mm -hmm. So, I know that she reached out to the two vendors and asked for W W nine forms from them. She said one of them submitted it the entertainment, the other one had not reached back out to her at all. I know the event is held, it's scheduled to be held on Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. So, Sylvia, can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear. I just wanna make sure everybody can hear this. I got you. Can we, how about, how about we reach out to the, the head person that's putting on the event and tell them that if they pay them, we'll reimburse them? or however you want guys want to do, but we have to do something today. Let's get over with today. I, you know, this... I think that it was an error on our part. We were all it was us in this room and or not. Uh, and I think that you guys have been very kind and very good and What about the tax form that they need to submit? I was going to address, are, are we going to be paying, are we going to be reimbursing the organization or making a direct payment to somebody? Because this is pretty close to what you said, if we're making a direct payment to somebody, it, just in terms of trying to keep all our books in order, I think that we're justified in saying we need to be not. Be not. Well, well, I know the last, I know she reached out to the we were paying their vendors directly, and she reached out to the two vendors, the last two remaining vendors, and stated to them since the payments were over six hundred dollars, uh, to submit a W nine form back. Mm -hmm. One of them did that; the other one hasn't done that. That's kind of where the holdup came in at. But also to piggyback off of what Sylvia was saying, I think the problem with the process that we had here was they didn't. It wasn't the small business owner didn't apply as a business grant for improvement to their business. They applied for us in the, under the under the guise of a proposal to vote the donate tour I mean, to help pay for the event that they were hosting which is hosted in the UEZ I think that the delay but with the problem with the board was we didn't have processes and procedures in place for that I think that's something that the grant committee should also take a look into if we're gonna do things like this we should have something we should have something written up where it's a, a, a complete process of we're going to pay them directly or reimbursement, not just kind of in between in the middle because we kind, of, kind of conflating trying to do both, which I think the problem arose and that's where the problem came about with this situation. I think we followed the procedure and we had one person turn in their tax forms and then the other person didn't turn theirs in and they both was, everybody was aware of what was going on and they still has not, they still haven't complied. So... 
I'm not going to have no more discussion with this. It's up to you what you want to do, Mr. President. I mean, I agree with Sylvia and Tristan. I mean, maybe there does need to be a set, uh, set of guidelines uh, implemented for something like this because it's a little different. I don't think that they're doing anything wrong at this point um, other than the vendors not supplying the W-9, which that's federal law. I mean, it, because it is over $600. Um, so that, I think that's something that, that has to be done outside of what we say. Mm -hmm. um, it sounds to me like everybody, the other three vendors have done that and have complied and two of them have already been paid. So um, I think we, maybe somebody else just needs to reach out and see. I don't understand what the big deal is or why they can't just I get a W. -1. Well, I know, no, I'm sorry not to cut you off, but go ahead. the one vendor, the, the entertainment, she said he submitted, she sent me earlier, she, he submitted the W-9. He submitted, the only one that hasn't is, is um, the, the photographer. The photographer is the only one. So I think we could pay the entertainer because he's filed the paperwork. And then I think like anything else, we just maybe need to go to this and make sure that everybody they said that's there and is performing well i know that was part of the motion that was made with no approval that they had to come back and report on how the yeah. event went and bruce and I, gabby was supposed to be the two that rep yeah, represent represent uh, yeah i offered it to go mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to augment a point you made that i think is important that you you alluded to it that this is the way a lawyer would say it. we don't possess the right to waive the requirement of the w-9 that's almost what you said i just mm -hmm. want to put a different yeah. spin on it uh, but I, I'm completely fine with paying the person that submitted the W-9. I'm not calling that into question. It's, right. just, it's just the one payment. Mm -hmm. So how are we going to handle this? I, and how much is the photographer's bill? $700. Is what they submitted. I, I, is I'll it make a motion that we don't, we don't, I lose track of who has not submitted the W-9. We pay the person who submitted W-9, we don't pay the person who's not submitted the DJ w submitted it, the photographer did. Okay, we don't, yeah. Right. That's the first, yeah. Yes. Then can I ask one more question amongst us? Can can we just give the uh, $700 to the organization? Uh, uh, Sylvia? I'm here. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to say something. I, boom. Well, I don't feel hard about this, but it, but but you know we're trying to feel our way through. I, I guess it depends if we committed ourselves that we're going to pay them directly. Then I feel like we have to withhold the the photographer's payment. I I, I mean we're going to vote on it as a group. That's just my point of view. So, well, that was my question. What was the original motion? Like X amount of dollars. The, for mine, for my members, it was seven, uh, do not exceed seventy five hundred for the Michigan City Small Business Expo, and the, the payments were to go to the vendors. So right. Just like they would a contractor. Is it? Yeah, that was my my okay. complete understanding. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's pretty simple. No W nine, no payment. Right. So the vote for the um, so I move to approve the one who I approve those who submitted their W nine. Second. Nick. All right. Jim. Aye. Bruce. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Sylvia. Aye. Chair votes aye as well. I also move to deny any payment for those who did not submit the W-9. Second. Nick. Aye. <laughs> Jim. Aye. <laughs> Rodney. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Bruce. Aye. Sylvia. <laughs> Chair votes aye as well. So if, can someone reach out to? I'll reach out to the SBA folks. And I'll reach out to them as soon as the meeting's over regarding. I mean, if they're vendors, they should be the one that calls them. Yeah, I mean, I know originally Gabriel has stated to them that we can get the check signed for the entertainment tonight and get it over to them. So I, I mean, we can, I should, if all the, if the banking information, bank stuff should be over here. And I'll reach out after we get it signed and figured out. Reach out to them and let them know that we're denying payment to the photographer due to uh, lack of sufficient um, documentation. So you got you guys got to go to the bank. So we got to make sure we get these paid off finally, as well. It might be a checkbook. So yeah, she used it. She was just we just she's bringing the checkbook, the check sign on, just signed it on. It changed hands so many times. I don't know. Hmm. Were we able to? Um, were we? Were we able to um, make sure Tommy was removed from all of our bank accounts 
transparency for the public? Um, when I went into the bank after our last meeting, it was discovered that me and Jim are only placed on the main account and that we would need minutes the mean we need meeting minutes with the proof of the vote of the officers and the buying law the sign by laws will have to be taken into the bank to remove Tommy off the other two accounts due to me and Jim not being placed on those accounts and that the overall account holder is under Skylar York, which is no longer part of the board, and the former the the three-time over president of the UEA, which was a guy named Tyler Gonder, was on the other uh, other name on the account. Yeah, so we need to, lay at the bank stated to me that we need to get all the documentation over and we have to figure out who's going to be the new the new administrator over the account. Due to Skylar no longer being on the board, we have to place somebody else in the place of that presence. So at that point in time, so who will be that administrator for the bank accounts? Probably the president, man. But we don't have one right now, so right now we need to have somebody. Huh? We, right now we don't have a, uh, oh, you said the president. I thought you said the ED. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You want to accept that role? I was hoping the treasurer said, but I'll take it if he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> which one are which one we going to call? So I would have to double check with my international organization to see if they would even allow me to be an ad administrator on any other sort of funds other than my own personal and the organization. I'll move to make Tristan the uh, administrator over our account. I'll second him. They get finicky about that stuff sometimes. I got you. Um, any more discussion on that? On that motion? Uh, qu question. Uh, so it's my understanding that there's two different accounts? Three. Three different accounts. Could you explain what those accounts are for? We have a main account, we have a money market account, and we have a debit spin account, which was a debit card that was allotted to Gabrielle with a $225 replenished, every, replenished monthly on the first of every month for office expenses. And just from my understanding, it's just office expenses in that she's supposed to be using the account for. Those are the three accounts that we have. Okay, and what which, which is the account that Skyler was the? Skyler is the admin over was the admin over the whole account. He was also the check. It was also a signing on the money market account and the debit spend account. Do we have the? Was the credit card turned in? The debit card turned in. <laughs> I kind of late to ask that, but yeah, I got it through the boxes. Yeah, see, so I'll, I'll take a look through the box. I haven't let me get a chance to look up through all of them. All right. oh, we have a motion pending, though. And a second. All right. Yeah. I'll call for the roll. Nick. Could you repeat the motion again? Make Tristan the administrator over the bank accounts. Aye. Jim. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Ruth. Yes. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Sylvia. No, the motion passes. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. I motion to remove everyone off our bank accounts immediately, except Jim and Tristan at this time. All bank accounts. I'll second that. Call for the roll. Nick. Aye. Jim. Aye. Rodney. Aye. Dakota. Aye. Bruce. Aye. Sylvie. Cheer vote size win. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's kidding? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you think it's going to be an issue getting anything that we need to uh, give to the bank to make that happen? Um, the minutes, <laughs> the minutes were approved. I'll get them. Uh, they were approved. I get it printed off and signed. Uh, make sure the signature line is yeah. on there. I get to print them off. I'll get them printed off tonight and sign. I'll take the bylaws. We got. I still have beliefs. They got to sign a copy of the bylaws and share drive. I print those off and take those in. And I'll get everything squared away with the bank tomorrow morning. Um, I would like to see what the pleasure of the board regarding all the files. I had spoke to Sylvia and I also spoke to the clerk's office. Those are places that they had no problem with all our financial files going. Is there any designation that the board sees fit more fit? I will make a motion that all of our files, uh, all the boxes. And everything we had go to the Michigan City Clerk's Office under the other the guidance of Gail Nyla. Second. And I, I just want to add to that that Skyler said that Michigan City is uh, converting everything to digital, so this could be very good timing for that. I know that she showed me today that there's other UEA boxes that she have in there. I'm just gonna have to work out to see. Who where the rest of all those are gonna fit inside her office, but she told me she could find a space and make space for it. So I'll call the roll on that. On that. 
Silvia. Yes, yes. Not not to uh, be tampered with or nothing. Just the boxes to be um, stored there until we get we get all the stuff arranged. Okay, I think we just have a problem. The motion that we will temporarily store things until we get the court to authorize the court to authorize it. I just don't foresee it being um, preserved. Where is it going to go? They got so much stuff over they have a safe. I know they have a big safe. The floor looked like it was kind of empty. I know today. <laughs> it was, she kind of had it under like a little cab okay. area. So I, I, I think the safe, I, safe is full. I wonder if we uh, maybe amend the motion that, that we check with uh, Michigan City to find out what their process is for. Um, We're not governed by Michigan City. we govern governed by a state statute, and this is this board. So I, I, I'm going to keep my motion on the floor, and it will be short term storage until we hire an ED and get advice from our attorney. We got to keep the records. Can you add, can you add, can you amend it to say that it will be temporary storage until we get the court to authorize 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 the or with the vice counsel, we may convert them to digital and then there'll be a records retention policy. Yeah, whatever the ED is going to be, I, I think we are, I already said what she are, what Sylvia already said. So any other amendments that will be added to it, I move. So move. <laughs> <laughs> this will be very temporary until we get advice from our attorney and hire an executive director. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to ask you for everyone's sake. Just rearticulate the motion for the, for the minutes. <laughs> that, that was, <laughs> All the boxes, files that was turned over to us, uh, I move that we t we storm at the Michigan City Clerk's Office under the jurisdiction of uh, Gail Nylop, and not for her to go into them or any of that, just storage only, short-term storage until we get direction from an attorney and um, the new ED. I second that. Any more discussion? Bruce. Hi. Dakota. Hi. Jim. Hi. Rodney. Hi. <laughs> Nick. Hi. Sylvia. I guess I am. <laughs> I don't know what she just said. I guess I It was I guess. <laughs> uh, chair votes I as well. Um, I think the last bit of business will be this is it. This I. I hope I can get a. We, I can see a lawyer before I leave this board, so I, I, I'm hoping that we um, nominate. Oh, a board. But for um, attorney Anthony Novak had has still came. He wasn't notified that the executive session was canceled. He told me that he would be able to send over tomorrow. He said be able to send over a proposal for work as a as needed basis and a proposal if he was to come to every meeting and and be the board attorney in whatever scope of work we, we deem necessary for him either as the board attorney or on an as needed basis he has sent over two proposals so just, uh, I say just um, put three three people on it and y'all come back with your recommendation let's go do I have any volunteers for that? I'll volunteer I'd be happy to Dakota in city I'll volunteer Bruce said he would like to go do it as well but it's up to you you three sound perfect Okay. <laughs> Dakota, Bruce, and <laughs> Sylvia. Uh -huh. So he told me to send him over to my email, so I'll send him over I'll send him over to you guys. Fast forward him over to you guys as soon as he sends it to me. Okay. Are we gonna solicit any others or just the one? I think that's our I think that it's for us to dis to to dis uh, discuss that and make a proposal to the board about whether we solicit from other people. Okay. It's a sensible move. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, anything else for the board? That's good, of Mr. Novak, to even start start us off with that. Even if nothing else, I say we temporarily grab them while we have the opportunity because there's questions that need to be answered. So that's it for me. 
I guess the only other question I would have is for the phone line, there's an app that needs to be downloaded. Is anybody want to volunteer to answer the phone from eight to four? No. I mean, I have no problem doing it. I was just floating it out there if anybody else is willing to neighbor. This thing already rings too much. <laughs> One more phone never hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Silver, you? Is the app set up? Is the is the thing set up? She, your voicemail? She, she, I'm supposed to call her after I download. She didn't really give me any information on. It. She was real short with it. <laughs> I guess the only who's calling it. I, I don't. You guess as good as mine. They get phone calls. I I, I don't know the, the volume. She said she answered a lot of phone calls today. But that's what she said. So I don't know. I guess. There's an app? Yeah, there's an app she said. I she she has an app she said. I'm supposed to call her when I leave to get all the information for the Sunday. She actually had a phone. I, <laughs> I did too to the day when she said it's an app. I had no idea. I guess my the only other question I have is part of the motion was to pay her for her work today. I've I've kind of been scrunching over the minutes we have kind of been talking about. I never see where it was actually said her payment her pay so i don't know how we're gonna figure you mean her pay scale yeah mm -hmm. yeah so i don't oh, interesting <laughs> wasn't that 45 yeah there was in there the year there, for, there, there yeah, was so the base pay is forty five thousand. Well, that was the base pay there was no contract sign is what what the biggest problem was I ain't gonna go into all the other stuff, but yeah, I, 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 I'm sure somewhere we can find what her weekly pay was, right? How many hours did she work this week? Divide that by five. I mean, it's only Monday. My guess is it was based on at best a, a projected, like an estimated hours. That's my guess. Can you actually we find that out? Salary. Go further and then say before y'all approve it, it has to come back for the, to cut the check to her. I mean, we agreed to, to pay her, but. I think we need to know what it, what it actually is. I don't know how many hours she put in. Oh, I, you're, can I can I just have a little fun with you? You're so good at making motions. So why don't you make a motion? I don't know how to make a motion on this one. <laughs> Hold off until we find out what her minutes are. I mean, how many hours she paid? We got. It. All right. Well, let's do this. I'll make a motion. I I make a motion that that we we agree to pay her, but the scale the the actual amount that we pay her. We need to conduct further investigation. Second. Any more discussion on that? I'll call for the roll. Nick? Aye. Jim? Aye. Rodney? Aye. Bruce? Aye. Dakota? Aye. Sylvie? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Chair votes aye as well. Is that a half hearted aye? <laughs> 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 you, just have, you, know it was, you, you know it was open for discussion. <laughs> well, I, think, I, I think that's a she doesn't, she doesn't want to say I, but okay. All right. <laughs> um, I don't know if the public comment anybody has anything else they want to add. I just want to let uh, everybody in the Urban Enterprise Zone know that the grant application process is open until October 21st. October 21st. So if anybody is out there listening and they want to get a, a grant application submitted, know that you have until October 21st. 31st. Or 31st, sorry. Um, I am, yeah. Anybody else? Uh, motion to adjourn? So moved. Removed. All in favor? Aye. Aye.